moving entire houses by horses in the past. These vintage photographs from the 19th and early 20th centuries in the United States show teams of horses being used to move entire houses to new locations. With the rapid railway and urban development boom, a lot of people found themselves looking to relocate their log cabins, houses, Victorian mansions, and other abodes, and it looks like all they needed were some powerful horses. Although many people find it hard to believe, a two-horse team was normally used to accomplish house moves. These incredible photos show how even fairly large structures could be moved from one place to another using plain old horsepower. First of all, the house was jacked up off its foundation and was placed on heavy wooden beams. The ends of these beams were pointed and tended to act as runners similar to those on a sleigh. A temporary wooden track was put down in the street and the greased runners slid along it. The track consisted of flat planks, supported by cross ties, similar to those used on railroad tracks. As the house inched along the street, the planks and ties left behind it were picked up and manually carried to the front of the house and laid down ahead of it. Numerous cross ties and planks, ready for reuse, are visible in the photos. Obviously, you couldn't hitch a team directly to the front of a house, crack the whip, yell gadiyup, and expect anything to happen. Horses just weren't that strong. Instead, it was necessary to mount a capstan in the middle of the street. A pulley was fastened securely to the front of the house, probably to a cross beam between the wooden runners. One end of a very strong rope, or steel cable ran from this pulley to a tree trunk or other highly immovable object. It then went through the pulley and was wrapped around the capstan. The capstan was then turned by the horses which walked in a circle and tugged on a pole connected to the capstan. As they walked, the cable would slowly wind up on the capstan and pull the house forward. And yes, the horses had to step over the cable each time they encountered it. If the structure was small, then it was just pulled by the horses without the need of using a capstan. One photograph shows six horses straining as they pull a two-story abode forwards, with a group of men steering them as they go. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel.